Welcome to Create Arts Online. I'm Patty Euler. In this course, I will be teaching how to create a mixed media cigar box. There is nothing better than going on the hunt for a good cigar box. It doesn't matter what size or shape as long as the box is in good condition. I love creating my palette and design around the unique border on each of the boxes. The first step I will discuss is the importance of cleaning and prepping the box. I will show you how to choose your paper from a paper collection that tells a story or has a theme. In this course, I will teach you paper engineering techniques that result in perfectly cut and fitted pieces for each section of the box. Many paper collections have cut out sheets with images that can further enhance your design. Once your paper is cut, I will demonstrate how to shade the edges of your papers to add more depth and dimension. Once that is complete, I will show you how I properly tape and apply the cut paper to the box. I will teach you how to fix any imperfections with a few of my favorite paint pens and inks. You will watch me work in real time as I share my techniques for creating 3D effects on certain design elements. And the real star of this show is my signature button knob. I will talk about button selection, including size and color, and demonstrate using the right adhesives to build a secure and stable button knob. In the next section is a PDF for download with all the suggested tools, materials, and resources. So let's get creating. Patty, thank you so much for coming to Create Arts Online. This course, the Mixed Media Cigar Box, is a favorite of mine, and I only filmed it with her. I haven't even made one yet. I can't thank you enough for bringing this to Create Arts Online. It's really been a lot of fun, Tammy, to be here and be able to share this course with everybody. This is a course that I have taught for many years, and I, you know, several times I've said, all right, it's off the <laughs> roster and people complain because they've taken it more than once because each time you do it, it's going to be different. Yes. And there are so many choices of boxes, sizes, colors, and there's so many beautiful papers out there now that you can um, really kind of judge everything up and and really make a beautiful box. And learning from you, that is exactly what will happen. And yeah, what Patty just said is if you go to her workshop and take it, you get to make one box. You take this course and you can make as many boxes as you want. Yep. You will be hunting for cigar boxes till the cows come home and have collections and collections of boxes. And then you'll watch Patty in real time make this from the very beginning of the box all the way through to the end with this Alice in Wonderland theme that I am madly in love with. And it is amazing the different ways you can go. And explain a little bit about what happened to the toucan's uh, beak over here. Well, there are parts of the box sometimes that you just want to enhance. So I used some glossy accent that was right um, in certain sections of this. And you'll learn more about glossy accent in the course but it is a great dimensional adhesive. Well, and just so you know, each one of these boxes tells such a story that the button knob opens and here we have what's happening inside of this box. And each one of the boxes does exactly that. She covers every surface, the front, the back, the sides, inside and outside. And talk a little bit about what paper selection means to you when you see these boxes and the borders that go with it. Well. I have to say that I'm very fickle because every time I make a box, I go, this is my new favorite paper. <laughs> so um, I will say though that this Alice box is really my all time favorite because there was so many um, elements and cutouts that you could um, use in this box that made it really, really great. And there's another one here that's an Alice that's got even more excitement going on inside. And then this little tiny one. Yes. So I made them all from the same paper collection. These three. These three uh -huh. from the same paper collection. And, um, you know, it's just the, it. I say this every course, possibilities are endless because you know you can pick and choose the papers that you want to use. You can pick and choose the elements that you wish to cut out. So paper selection is important because you do need um, collections that have background paper mm -hmm. as well as focal images. But there's tons of paper out there. 
um, you can do just about anything. And the other element that I loved that I had never seen before is Patty creates a 3D sort of effect where Alice is lifted off the box. And you will learn how she does that in this course, as well as adding more um, glossy accent and different things inside. So I cannot thank you enough for bringing this course to Create Arts Online. I think the students are in for such a treat and we'll be making cigar box after cigar box, after cigar box. Well, I'd be excited to see um, in the comment section, once you create your cigar box, what it's gonna look like.